Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Grand Strand Nissan in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I think it's going to be one of my favorite dealerships. Um, people here are friendly, and uh, the products are awesome, of course, or Nissans. And um, but anyway, I'm checking out this 2015 Nissan Murano. This is the platinum trim level, so it's got a lot of features to go over. So I'm going to do my best. To kind of show you as much as I can on this vehicle and um, so let's get started so the exterior is black and um, really there's a lot to go over here in the front it does have the projector headlights and I couldn't really find out if um, I'll find out for you hopefully if these are halogen projector headlights HID or LED I'm not really sure it does have LED accents here around the front uh, like a daytime driving lights also has your your fog lights down here there's your sensor this one does have the adaptive cruise control system it also has the around view camera system and you can see one of the cameras right there where it says um, where the Nissan symbol is but this vehicle just looking at it it has a really aggressive not aggressive it has like a very kind of a standout sporty look to it it catches your eye the wheels really catch my eye the front end the aerodynamics and then when you get on the inside it is very well thought out very impressed with this vehicle now here on the side you can see there's another one of those cameras. It has a camera on all four sides. I'll show you that. It's, it's a pretty neat feature for, for safety and, and low, low speed driving and parking and stuff. It does have 20 inch alloy wheels with like a, I guess you can say like a matte aluminum finish and then you've got that, uh, looks like a graphite gray around the outside, which gives you that kind of sporty look very interesting design got some chrome trim there on the side as well as the door handles and around the windows let me go ahead and start it right here because this one has the intelligent key and here's the key right here and I can use the remote start to start it up I just have to, have to make sure I lock it make sure it's locked push and hold this button which is the little that little round circle thing there with the arrow on it and once it started I can go ahead and unlock it now I don't have to use the key to unlock it I can actually I'm gonna go ahead and relock it to show you this key can actually stay in my pocket the whole time but all I have to do is walk up and push this button here and unlock it if I get in and get out and I want to relock it I just push that button again to relock it so it's a pretty neat feature. You can lock and unlock. See right? You know, you just gotta remember which one you got lock or unlock. So here's the inside of the passenger door. Pretty sleek design, and it's contoured good too. When you get in the vehicle, uh, your arm has a nice place for your arms. Your bottle holder and your storage pockets there are well placed for your arms to reach. It has this uh, like a metallic look accent there. Everything is soft. This is very soft. You got some hard surfaces down here, but pretty much everywhere where you're going to come in contact with the vehicle, it's soft to the touch there. And it has like a black and brown. I hadn't been able to find out the exact color of this interior, but it's like a brown color. Hopefully you can pick that up in the video. And check out the placement of that seat compared to the surroundings. It is a heated and cooled seat with the perforations here and the on the back as well. But it's very comfortable. This is the zero G developed by NASA seat um, to where I mean it's very comfortable. You really have to experience it to understand. And you can see it's got plenty of room, leg room all up in here. You also have this little storage pocket there for the passenger all that but just to kind of give you an idea all the room up there let me go ahead and unlock it 
the whole, all the doors. You still have, even with that seat all the way back like that, you still have a pretty good amount of leg room back here for the rear passengers and, and a comfortable seat. Now these seats will fold down, but also they will go back a little bit. I'm going to try to do this. Well, actually you can see this one. This one's already back. And that makes a huge difference on long trips. When you're, in, when you're sitting in the back and you want to kind of just get a different seating position, you kind of lean back a little bit, um, that is, makes a world of difference to me. You've got a place to put some cell phones here or whatever and cups there and the armrest. You also have a place to put some cell phones right here or whatever you want there for the rear passengers. And right here you have your heated seat controls, which you do have heated seats in the back. And right there in the center is a USB. That USB, not only can you charge cell phones or whatever, uh, you know, portable devices or whatever, you can also play music through the actual sound system using that USB drive. There is a, you, there's the ability to select to this USB drive versus the front. And you got some pockets in the back of the seats there. And as you can see, the rear pass, the rear doors are just as high quality, nothing skimped out on as far as quality and, and fit and finish on the back doors. Kind of back up a little bit so you can get an idea of what it looks like from a profile look view. And I'm going to put all this information here in the description, but this is a 2015. This is the front wheel drive version. You can get an all wheel drive, but if you wanted to use the pause button and just kind of check out the features here, you can. And of course, I'm going to leave a phone number in the description to where if you have any questions on this vehicle, um, you know, other than, you know, leaving in the, in the comments, you can actually call the dealership and uh, the Nissan experts here at Grand Strand Nissan will be glad to help you. So here's the back. This one does has the 3.5 liter V6. You can see it has the dual exhaust. It's got the platinum badge there on the right. The Rano badge. So also you have the, the back the camera back here too, the parking camera. Really neat parking system this vehicle has. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the tailgate by holding this. Hold that and it'll lift up. And you can set it how high it lifts up. It doesn't have to extend all the way to the top. You can set it to where it's just slightly lower um, by pushing and holding this button repositioning it and then holding that button there and that way if you have like a low ceiling in your garage or um, you know if you're kind of not vertically challenged you can um, you know set it to the any height you want pretty much all right so here's the back and as you can see there's tons of storage space already if you're going to Lowe's or you know Walmart or whatever you can um, Home Depot you've got some space here to put a lot of stuff but if you want to really have some more space there's this handle right here and you can fold down the seats now the front seats kind of a little bit in the way right now because it's all the way back but if the seat was just like a half an inch more forward the seat would actually fold down flat so and once it's fold down flat you can put your stuff in or whatever then once you unload the the stuff and you want to put the seat back up you don't have to necessarily go over there and lift the seat up you've got this little button here and you just push it and hold it and it'll lift the seat right back up and the same thing on the side you can you can lower it just like that you can see it clear the seat on that one, on that side and then the raise it just push and hold it here yeah that seat's getting in the way but as you can see, it's sort of like an elevator. It'll only go so far, and if it meets some resistance, it's not going to mess anything up. It'll stop and go back down. All right, so there's actually some, some more storage space here. That lifts up. This is actually where your jack is. And I noticed with the Nissans, they actually come with a tow hook there. And um, so if you don't know what that is, maybe you can check out 
my video it's called what is this and it, it sees a big red arrow and it's pointing to a little square on the side of a vehicle and um, kind of explain a little bit what that is so let's see what's what we got on this side yep just an empty storage pocket and I like the way they just make these panel panels removable um, so you can just like literally get them out of the way and um, if you don't want to have them there and just you know you can put some bigger stuff in there you don't actually have to have the, the doors there in the way do this one-handedly if that's a word okay so and this mat it has like a rubber on one side I wonder if it's reversible I guess you could flip it over and use the other side for some cargo stuff if you wanted to and this whole thing lifts up and this is your spare tire and it looks like a full-size spare tire it's not exactly the, like what's on the vehicle but that's a good big good size vehicle tire and as you can see it says Bose right there. This is, it does have the premium Bose sound system, and this is actually a subwoofer mounted there. So they're utilizing as much space as possible. So they actually put the subwoofer right there. And um, and while I got this open, you can see all the wiring in the vehicle is, is wrapped and secured. Uh, there's no like loose wiring, you know. Just it's made for the long haul, basically, so it doesn't get messed up. And if, any, if you know anything about Nissans, they, um, they are designed to last. Uh, they're not cheap vehicles that, um, that will you know, give you a lot of trouble. If you take care of them, they'll take care of you. Alright, so now that through looking in there, I'm going to push this button. It's kind of going to beep a little bit and it's going to lower down. It does go down slow. But, you know, you still want to make sure little kids and stuff, and fingers are out of the way because you don't want them to get hurt. These are heated side mirrors, as you can tell by this little symbol right here. It does have a blind spot monitor, monitor while you're driving. I'll show you that in a second. So let's go here and check out the inside of the driver's door. You can see it has you know the same same styling as the other side but on this side you've got a little bit more controls you got your window controls for your rear and your front and these are automatic window controls in the front in the back you would actually have to hold them you know to get the desired um, you know where you, you want it all the way up or all the way down door lock controls are here you can shut out all the other windows uh, controls by pushing this button here you push that and the only window will, you'll be able to use would be this one here and that way like kids or something like that cannot um, cannot open up the windows it does have presets for the seats here you have two presets side mirror adjustments are there and the vehicle did turn off and the reason why it will run for 10 minutes and then turn off and you can restart it it'll run for another 10 minutes and then turn off uh, so that's your uh, that's your cycle there I wonder if, yeah, this is backlit, that Murano symbol there. And maybe one day I'll be able to do this uh, vehicle at nighttime and see what it looks like. So you got your power seats with, with uh, the lumbar support here. You can adjust your back and the, the front there. It's kind of like a dentist chair. It's highly adjustable. Right here is your traction control. This is for your power lift gate you can use your key or you can use that button there or there's a button on the outside that you can use heated steering wheel control is here here's your your dimmer switch um, basically so you can uh, the vehicle has like ambient light it also has um, you know your gauge lights here so you can adjust those right there and you do have a trip reset button here power adjustable tilt and telescope steering wheel and that's is adjustable as well with the seats and it'll it will um the key the key that you have in the vehicle it will you can pair it up basically to where when you get in with your key it'll have your one your mirrors and your seat and your steering wheel all set to you and then when you have the other key get in the vehicle it'll set it for them so the keys here I'm just going to kind of throw it in the cup holder. I could just keep it in my pocket, but I'm just going to keep it out in case I need to show you something. Alright, 
so now it's turned off give you an idea of how quiet it is in here all right so now it's telling me if I want to start the vehicle push the brake and push the start button so I just put my foot on the brake and I push the start button and it starts up it does this, this thing there asking me if I want to set up some stuff here I don't want to set up anything right now okay so let me aim the air conditioner away from the camera I do have a pretty good wind filter now um, but you don't want to interfere with it as much as possible it's a pretty warm day out right now so I do have to have some AC all right so let's start with the steering wheel here and it is a very comfortable leather wrap steering wheel with some stitching here on the inside it is a heated steering wheel as you as I showed you the, the switches over there very comfortable it's soft and but it's grippy some some of the soft steering wheels are kind of slippery this one has more of a grip than the average one I've felt and it has a little bit of a curve there to where you can put your thumb there um, has a good feel to it your cruise control buttons are on this side and like I said it does have the adaptive cruise control so once you set your cruise uh, to a certain speed this button right here um, you can turn on the adaptive cruise control and set your distance basically to where if you are cruising on the highway and your cruise is set then somebody in front of you kind of slow, slows down slightly and then they you know they're slightly sh slower than you then your vehicle will match their speed until they get out of your way and then you can go up back up to your speed of course you can always change lanes and pass them but you know you know if you're stuck in traffic or whatever and there's a lot of vehicles you can you know kind of makes it more convenient so you don't have to constantly turn off the cruise control or reset it or you know readjust it all right so over here this is your volume control here for your radio and you can push this for your source like AM, FM, um, USB, uh, Bluetooth. There's different sources on the vehicle. But this one right here, this button and these buttons here, um, I'll show you that in a second. Right now, I just want to show you the, it does have the voice recognition. You push that button and you can say, um, you can say call a particular person, go to a specific address, tune to a certain station. The voice recognition uh, does take a little while to get used to your voice, so uh, don't get discouraged if the first you know, time or two it doesn't really recognize what you say. Um, it is a really handy feature and I think it'll, something that you would really enjoy um, once you, you know, get used to using it and the vehicle gets used to you. <laughs> so and then this is where you would answer your calls once your Bluetooth phone is paired you can when you when you receive a call you push that to answer it or if you push that to make a call like push that and say call a certain person it is does it's integrated with the voice recognition system all right and okay so back to this button and this button um, right here is your gauges and right in the center you can see um, it's give, giving me, um, there's no items, there's no warning items right now. So I'm going to push the, this one with the little square, and this is the up and down. So I'm going to go ahead and, and then it's, there's a center OK. So I'm going to start doing that. Um, so I'm going to kind of scroll to the left. It's telling me that the tire pressure, um, we got driving aids. This does have the uh, tire pressure monitoring system, TPMS, and it will alert you if the tires are low. It'll also alert you if they're too high. I think it's four pounds over. Um, it'll, it'll alert you for that too. And let's say it's pretty neat. I don't, I don't think I've seen this in any other vehicle. Let's say your tire is a little bit low. It's winter time, your tires are a little bit low. You get out there, you start pumping your tire up, your lights will start flashing, and then it'll beep at you when it's, when it's at the proper pressure. That's really convenient because not everybody has a tire gauge lying around and when they do have it they might not have it with them so I think that's a really cool feature and it'll let you know if you're going over so you know there's a little bit uh, there's a little bit of a procedure there but I don't, I don't know if it, it by the top on the top of my head but it's a uh, really cool all right continuing on 
um, that's the, the the tire pressure monitoring system and uh, and it says tire pressure will appear while driving and the reason why um, there is certain like just sitting there uh, the, the the monitors are not 100% accurate so that doesn't want to show you like you got 50 or 60 pounds of pressure in your tire and you might freak out before you start driving it once it starts driving and uh, everything normalizes then it'll give you more accurate readings so that's why it kind of tells you you know it'll appear while you're driving and uh, your driving aids um, this is basically your uh, your blind spot monitoring system it's kind of it'll alert you there um, I'm gonna go into that yeah the blind spot is turned on and basically that's the only option there is to turn the blind spot on or off all right, so I'm going to scroll through here. Fuel economy, this will give you your average. Uh, and you can also hold it and reset it like that. And that way you can, you know, you start off on a trip or something, then you can uh, get accurate readings there. And um, so this is your, um, your drive computer. It'll give you your average miles per hour, average miles per gallon, how many miles you've driven. Um, the time, all that good stuff. This is a really good, good handy to kind of get you the information, the stats, I guess, on a trip that you make. There's your compass. This is telling you what your radio is doing. And then there's your home screen, which gives you a digital a digital speedometer and your compass there. And also kind of gives you some information on your satellite radio and your time, temperature outside. And it's, you know, just letting you know that your blind spot monitoring system right here is on. So, got a pretty good amount, amount of information. And it's probably more stuff in there that I'm not familiar with. But, it should, you know, that kind of gives you an idea of, um, you know, the level of information that you can get in that system right there. Sometimes I get... I, focus in too much on features and you don't really get a chance to see the overall picture here so I'm just kind of give you an idea of what I'm looking at there's the back okay so here is the center stack and the center stack has this big touch screen here but you also have some redundant buttons around the outside in case you need to use them and I like the way they have the climate control separate from the the touch screen so this is something because you know you kind of have to have that and you kind of have to be able to fine-tune it adjust it frequently um, so I mean usually not all the time but you, you know you have that ability to so right now um, you have your your icons across the bottom similar to like a computer or something and um, so I'm going to hit the audio button and this is kind of telling me you know what my radio is doing I'm in the uh, satellite radio right now it's on a sports channel and I can you know have my presets here like 80s and 90s and stuff like that but um, you know that's basically your radio your phone once you pair a Bluetooth phone uh, you, all these things will kind of pop up here right now there's no phone paired but you'll have your phone book your call history you can dial a specific number and with certain phones you can actually receive text and it'll dictate the text to you and then you can actually you know speak out text back to the vehicle so you can actually text message and you know and you can receive text while you're driving safely because you're not your eyes are still on the road so that's a pretty cool feature there and the information, uh, this is where you can go into, um, you know, different options. And uh, it does have uh, the satellite um, travel link system to where you can check the weather, fuel prices, um, and you can sort it by distance. Uh, you know, of course, we want, we want, let's see here, let's get a premium. You don't have, I don't, you don't have to use premium, but I'm just saying if you want to find a deal, a a gas station that has premium gas and then you want to um, you can sort it by distance and then you got the price there so like this is really handy if you're out of town and you need to just find the nearest gas station and you know you, you can you can get to one 
and what let's say you choose that I'm gonna go ahead and hit this button here and it takes me to this screen which it shows me the phone number I can call them I can you know go here right now and uh, so it'll take me ex right there um, with the best route so um, you know right now we're like within stone throws distance of a gas station but let's say you're in the middle of nowhere you kind of need to know where the nearest gas station is because if you hadn't been paying attention then you're low on gas that kind of stuff all right so it's got a back button here and this also has a back button here so we can go back out of stuff this also swipes sort of like a ipad or a, a cell phone so you can have more information lots of cool stuff um gives your uh GPS location stuff like that all right let's go here to the menu and this menu is customizable you can change these little icons here to different things if you want and this does swipe um, you got the little little bu bubbles there at the bottom showing you how many screens it has and what screen you're on so that's a pretty cool feature map the map is well it's easy to read the contrast is good to where you don't it doesn't blend too much and it doesn't look too like technology dated look it kind of looks like a you know fairly modern map um, and a pretty good size I can go to map menu and I can change the map view uh, to a 2d map which is a lot of people are familiar with that and navigation, uh, Navi basically, it's separate from the map because this is where you would put in a new destination. Like this is where you'd actually put in an address to go to and uh, you can start your route and then you can go back to the map and then you can see, you know, take you to the map and, and, and that's where you can kind of see stuff. Go to a certain place. My wording's coming out. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so here's the uh, the settings for your Bluetooth, your navigation, your display, you can set your clock in here, your sound. If you want beeps going on on the radio, you can turn that on and off. You can edit your home menu. This is where you actually, your, your settings to change stuff if you want to change stuff. And of course you got some, your buttons right here. Now, your volume is here. Uh, you, you can go to your audio, which is your right here so you can hit your map you can change the day and night view right there home screen on the menu right there and uh, you can scroll through tracks songs different things like that it does have a CD player up here there's the back button you can scroll through stations now this is the magic button here that I like the camera button and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it, I'm gonna go ahead and push the camera button just to show you. And uh, this is, to me, this is really cool. And it's showing me what's, you know, it's showing in front of me right now, this view right here. And this is, it's got the view in front, the side, and the back. Let me get back at it. You can see the whole around view, uh, look of the vehicle so you can see exactly it's like a, it's like a a camera that's like 50 feet above your vehicle aiming down and it's a pretty neat feature but anyway as you can see there's a flag waving and you can see that little movement there and it kind of alerted me a second ago to let me know of moving object objects so um so you if <laughs> If you're parking, this is like imperative here. So I'm going to push the camera button again, and this is where it's going to give me uh, the right front tire, the tire on this right side, passenger side, front. So where when I'm backing up, and I'm going to get close to a curb or something, I can, you see the tire moving there? I can back up like that. And I can get real close to the curve, and I can line it right up right where I want. And this will also pop up. I'm going to put it in reverse. Now you can see the camera behind me pops up there. So, pretty cool feature. 
that's the first time I've ever seen that particular feature in any vehicle um, so I'm, I'm I'm really excited to, to see that kind of thing because man if um, if you hit something it's you know you're really not paying attention because this is showing you every little inch around your vehicle and this will only work at low speeds um, it's not gonna work at you know say I think it's over six miles per hour that you can you, you know use this um, the cameras but once you get past that you kind of need to be looking out the window and seeing where you're going so here's your climate control it's pretty basic it does have a dual zone uh, your fan your temperature is here on both sides and uh, you can you can also you know turn off dual and it'll sync both of them to where they're exact same you can adjust the fan speed here and you can you have front defrost, rear defrost, turn the air conditioner off. Uh, the recirculation button is here. And uh, if you want to keep the air inside the vehicle, or do you need fresh air out from outside the vehicle, you push that. And uh, basically, if somebody's you know driving a car that's smoking and stinking up the road or some kind of outdoor odor while you're driving, you can just push that. It keeps the air inside the vehicle. And if it's a nice, you know, fresh air outside, you can push that. Now, with the defrost, when you're defrosting the windows, you want to go ahead and have the, the fresh air come in because that really helps out with defrosting the windows. And it'll automatically, once you put the, the defroster on, it'll automatically go there. So, I'm going to push mode, and that tells me where it tells the car where I want the air to blow on it, you know, different places. Like right, that. Alright, so your heated and cool seats are here. Um, basically you can adjust them down like so to the left for cold to the right and you can fine-tune them it has three settings per side so you can really get the right uh, temperature that you want if you get too cold you can put it down a notch and here's your shifter this does have a CVT transmission so um, when you put it in drive I mean, you can you can change you can can't change the gear ratio. So let's say you put it in drive like so. Um, you're gonna drive, and it doesn't really shift shift gears like per se. It'll keep you it'll keep the engine at the optimal power band. And if you're not familiar with the power band, check out some of my videos uh, with uh, Ask the Engineer student. He goes into a lot of detail on the power band and um, and what it's you know what it's used for and all that good stuff but anyway the CVT keeps the vehicle in a power band gives you the best performance and gas mileage and um, you know so Nissan's a pioneer with the CVT system and the transmissions and um, you know it's a really interesting design and, and a lot of other car manufacturers are kind of kind of following line so um, so basically what I was saying was now it's in drive I can slide it over here and if I need a downshift, let's say I'm going down a hill or something, I can, I can, you know, I can go like that and, and downshift if I need to or upshift. So that's how that works there. Cup holders are right there. Now this thing, this is where your um, USB and auxiliary inputs are. And it has like a little place to put your phone here. So you can have your phone there, have it plugged in, charging or whatever. And any any of the apps here on the system that uses um, like a data from your cell phone, you do have to plug it into the USB port there. Reason why is one thing: if you just go try to go through the Bluetooth system, it'll power your battery will be drained fast. So this way, it gets a direct connection that's reliable. Also, it charges your battery at the same time. So I've got a Samsung Note 4, which is a pretty good size phone. And um, so going like that doesn't fit, but it does have the ability to sit like that. Of course, you know, the cup holder is another, another place there, but it does fit right, pretty good right there. And it's really, you know, accessible and it's out of the way. This armrest um, is pretty interesting. You've got kind of like a dual zone armrest where you got a driver and passenger but the way I'm sitting and nobody in the passenger side I could just kind of put my arm in that little center part there and it kind of gives me a little spot there it's pretty comfortable but anyway this lifts up 
And inside here, you've got this tray that comes out, and you can, you know, like say if you put change or whatever in it, you can dump it out easy. But also, you got this big old storage bin that's definitely going to get cluttered with stuff. Um, so just be prepared for that. And it does have a power supply down in there. And hopefully, you can see it's all black in there and does have a pad at the bottom but hopefully you can see that power supply let's see if I open it you can see it better yeah all right so I'm going to put this tray back in and as you can see when you've got stuff in here let's say you got something in here um, a cell phone or just something in this this container and you need to run wires in and out it does have this little place right here for the wires to run in and out of the, the vehicle I mean in and out of the compartment sorry and you can plug them into the USB port over here if you need to all right glove compartment the glove compartment to me is a little low when you open up the door it kind of interferes with your legs there I don't know if you can see that um, and you know when I was sitting on this side I lowered it down it kind of rested on my legs but man is it a huge glove compartment it kind of goes in there forever so um, it does have a pretty good amount of storage but the door you know it does it, I don't know it, it it's not a huge deal but it does kind of get go down pretty far and interfere um, with the leg room there which I mean you're not always accessing the uh, the glove compartment but if you did, it's a little bit, a little bit of an issue there. All right, so if you got the garage door openers up here, and you, it does have an auto dim rear view mirror, and uh, so you can turn that on and off here if you wanted to. It's got a place to put your sunglasses, and it's got like a soft carpet feel stuff in there to protect them, and a little LED lights here. You can turn all the lights on right there or you can make sure all of them stay off even with the door open um, I'm sorry this is where you have it to where the door opens and it turns on I may be wrong about that please correct me in the in the comments if you don't mind um, but anyway you got little LED lights there visors have mirrors and lights the same thing on that side now another cool thing Let's see if I can get this in frame. Check out that sunroof. It's got the dual pan panoramic sunroof. So I can go ahead and open up that. Let's see if the, make sure the sun doesn't shine in there. I can open that up and you can see it's dual pan. Now I can open it up. Like so. close it. it it closes it and it closes the vent there I mean the the shade all in one motion I guess and you can stop it at any time you don't have to have it you don't have to have it open all the way you can adjust it fine-tune it the way you want it but that's a pretty neat sunroof it goes all the way back to the passengers in the back and um, all right I think we've covered kind of most everything in here. Not everything, but just to kind of give you a general idea of everything. Now let's look underneath the hood. And it's starting to be pollen season, so you can see the pollen on everything. Alright, so lifting up the hood. Hey, I can actually see some metal. Look at there. A lot of a lot of manufacturers are covering the engines with plastic, which just does have a plastic cover, but it just completely covers it up to where you can't see any metal. I like to see some metal in under the engine. But anyways, um, this vehicle it has seals around the outside everything's covered up the um, you know like this tubing right here has a, a protector on top of it this is covered up here um, the battery has insulation around the sides all the electronics are sealed up in uh, in plastic housings 
It's designed to last. It's designed to, you know, be secure for the long haul, like I said before. And this is the 3.5 liter uh, V6 engine that Nissan puts into just about everything. It's extremely reliable. It does have a timing chain, and uh, so you don't have to worry about changing belts. The timing chain is designed to last the life of the engine. So, um, you know, they just keep going. You, you take care of them, you change the oil, you do the routine maintenance, and, um, and it, it'll last. It'll last a long, long time. One of the things I noticed um, is it's not much vibration here, even with a with a time and chain. It's a it's still a smooth engine. All right, there you have it. I know I've there's a whole bunch of stuff that I probably miss, you know kind of skipped over or didn't do a, a good enough job on. There may be some features that, that you can kind of help me out with, corrections, uh, stuff like that. If you have any experience with one of these, please uh, let me know. This is a 2015. Maybe you had experience with a 14 or something like that. Um, you know, just kind of let me know what your experience is. Share with everybody. Um, and then that way, if, you know, this, via, this video will be as useful as possible to as many people that watch it. So I appreciate you watching. Grand Strand Nissan, give them a call if you have any questions. Uh, you, of course, you can leave questions in the comments. And um, tell you what, one thing I forgot to show you, <laughs> just remember, this is kind of a biggie because I didn't re recognize it at first. The blind spot monitoring system, when you get in, if there's a vehicle in your blind spot, this will illuminate. If you put your turn signal on, that'll be good from orange to red to let you know. Um, so it will alert you if there's a vehicle in your blind spot. So anyways, sorry for that uh, diversion there. But anyways, let me know. Um, I'm going to leave Grand Strand Nissan's contact information in the description. And you can visit their website. I'll have a link there. And um, so yeah, I mean, Grand Strand Nissan is in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And one of the things about this area is that people come in from all over the country. So you can be anywhere in the country. If you come to this area, to Myrtle Beach, for a vacation, stop by and check out their inventory. And uh, they are guarantee you they're going to be easy to deal with. They'll give you a good value for your money. And you can go home in a brand new car. So why not, you know, why not give them a try? Of course, it's voluntary, so you don't have to buy anything. But, you know, if once you stop by and visit i think you'll be really impressed so uh, anyways let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thanks for watching